So what did you guys make of the report in the Daily Mail that Sarsons are set for promotion back up to the Premiership without playing a single game amongst fears that the Championship season will not go ahead? And then Ealing Trailfinders could buy their way into the new 14-team top flight? Do you know what? If that Championship doesn't go ahead due to COVID, um, and as a month's pass by, that's probably looking more and more likely... Um, with that kind of that level of rugby not getting played, I think they should draw straws. There should be like a lottery in the championship. So who goes up? What if some people don't want to go up? Okay, well, they can withdraw from the lottery. So all the teams that want to go up, they just literally, it's, uh, it's a straight shooter. Pick straws. Thank you very much. Fairest way to do it. I think, yeah. I think it's a good thing. Like, uh, I don't think Champ Rugby can afford um, to to go back. I think there's suggestions over mothballing or freezing it. Um, I think Sarri's coming back up automatically should be a given. Um, and it, let's be honest, Saracens are good for the Premiership. They're good for European rugby as well. Um, if Ealing have serious aspirations, which they do, they've got serious cash. Um, I think it's going to cost near 50 mil to get the infrastructure and whatnot. Um, and I think the the owner basically said if he needs to spend seven million, he can do that happily. Um, he, can employ, he can employ you then. Oh, we've yeah. already covered this earlier. You know, if he's got three hundred and fifty mil, and he said he wants to put it all into rugby, so if that involves me and you coaching, Jamie, we will go. I will commute one day a week for that. Uh, I'll go down. I'll just pull strings at the top. You can do D. Um, we have a good time. But no, I think if they've got serious aspirations and they've got the money and a long-term plan, uh, I don't have a problem with it. There'll be cries of, you know, there'll be cries of Yorkshire or Leeds and teams from the North. Um, but I think if the premiership is going to, I don't know what the, the answer is, but I think a ring fence league would be good. Um, and I think coming out of COVID, the time to do it would be now. Jamie, what do you make of it? Yeah, I think it's uh, obviously there are some teams without the infrastructure to survive in the Premiership and they will never have it and don't want it either. So they're happy playing and operating at that level. Obviously, Saracens would be desperate to get back up and I've no doubt if they did play the season, they'd be good enough to win every game um, at a canter and and, and get back promoted. Um, the problem with ring fencing is that twofold really and this argument has been had many times you know do you kind of squash the ambitions of those trying to come up um, and then does it just become this league where, where teams are existing and are not striving to to play at a higher level and two does what, it completely like the Pro 14 <laughs> well done uh, do, do you completely relieve the pressure on relegation from the premiership I mean for, for supporters and for players as well that pressure is arguably what makes a league at the bottom end of the table and the top end of the table. Um, and so it does, you know, as well as anyone, mate, you win or two or three games in the, in the, in the premiership, you're up around kind of playoff spots, mate, you lose three, four games, you're hovering around that bottom four and then it's, it's, you know, kind of twitchy bum time. Um, but that pressure is great. It's great for the sport. It's great for supporters as well. Uh, so I don't know. I'm I'm kind of I'm torn on the old ring fence stuff, but God knows what's going to happen if this championship season can't be played. Um, what the right thing is, you know, whether Ealing can potentially buy their way. You know, that was the report today in the Daily Mail. Whether they can buy their way in, uh, can other clubs then turn around and say, "Well, hang on a minute, no, we want to be in the Premiership as well." You know, what's the fairest solution? Um, that is that decision is obviously above our heads. So. <laughs> I'm glad I don't have to make that choice. I, this is just my opinion, but I don't have a problem with Saris coming back up because they were going to come back up and there's no league for them to play in at the moment in, in the championship. Um, and we'd all be worse off for not seeing those England internationals play. Um, they add to the competitions when they're not cheating. Um, and they, they fly a flag of hope in terms of English rugby, but like Exeter, um, that they're flying the flag now. But they are good for the sport. And that's coming from me, who hated Saris for years playing against them and hated what they did. But 
if you look at big picture with the games that we need some we need some good news stories so if they stick to the bloody cap and just play other England players and de keep developing future England players and compete in tournaments they're good for gates they're good for kids they're yeah 